All right. Uh, so this week's map is Shamil, and Shamil is a very interesting map. It's uh, it's pretty tiny compared to most maps, and it also, uh, since it has four flags and they're all single caps, and it's small, uh, the map can go really fast. Um, if you get four or five people down, uh, it's totally possible for the other team to cap out. Um, it doesn't take much to get from one side of the map to the other. There's not a lot of long hallways. Um, it's pretty compact and dense. So capping the flags is pretty easy as long as you don't have opposition to it. Um, God, hold on here. Uh, so let me go out over some callouts. Uh, we got Axis Spawn over here. I don't have a... I don't have a name for this area. Over here, this is Arch, guards the first flag. Uh, you have the church tower in here. Up here, you have library because there's a bookcase and it's got libraries. Uh, you got tank over here. Uh, you got stairs to quads. Um, there's a couple little ninja hidey places here. They can get up here into this little area on top of the tank, on top of library. Uh, down here is puddle room, lower puddle, upper puddle. Uh, and they can be anywhere in there. Over here, this is broken door, and you can blow it up with a bazooka, but also people can sit here and shoot people as they go through, so you can just see their feet. It's hard to see them. Broken door. This is connector. Uh, and in here, this is factory. This whole place is factory. Uh, this is called triple stack. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's called triple stack because people can be here, here, or up here. Okay. Uh, over here is double stack. You got upper and lower stack. Uh, and people can come out of either way. Uh, this is called car, and then subsequently car alley. Uh, you got bunker or double windows. And then another broken door. Let's see. Yep, and then you got tank. People can chill in tank too. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, in here we have wood, because there's a bunch of wood on the floor up there. You got lower wood, and then this is upper wood to the first. Uh, down here, this is like, uh, people call this like ruins, or rubble room. Rubble room, because it's got this like, rubble pile. Table. Uh, I mean, I, sometimes I call this library, because there's a book, but there is already a library, so it can kind of get confusing. I guess you could call it book room if you want. Uh, this is like above their spawn first spawn. I mean, I don't have a name for this either. Little ladder room. Connect to the first. This is the allies first and they can come out of here. Or here. Left spawn, right spawn. Uh, this is corner. People like to sit in a lot. And the first flag. In here we have radio. You got lower radio, and this is called upper radio, and this leads to the first flag cap out. Very important. Uh, this is tables, so people can chill here, here. This is table room. Uh, in here we have this little connector. This is called lamppost. Up here is garage door. People can hang out there. We got sandbag down here. This is underpass, and then uh, Bullet called this overpass, which I've never heard before, but I think that's really cool. Why not? We have an underpass and an overpass. Uh, and overpass is cool and people can show here. And that's also how they get into triple windows. Uh, triple windows is a is a huge part uh, of holding the underpass. And you can really annoy people by chilling up there. You can also jump onto these garage door things. You cannot jump on there. That's illegal. In here we have puddle room. Lower puddle, upper puddle. We kind of went over that. Uh, car alley went over that. This is wallable, which is really neat. Uh, man, I think that's all the callouts. Is, is that it? That's so fast. Church. Uh, okay, so this is quads up here because there's four windows, and this is called plank because uh, there's a big plank in there. Uh, in here, this is like I said, bunker or double windows. Plank, there's the back of broken door. This area is connector. You can say right or left if you want, uh, but most people just call this whole area connector. 
Yeah, I think that's basically all the callouts. I, I can't really think of anything else. Da, 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 da. So, since it's so small, there's a, a number of routes that you go uh, as a rifle. You'll tend to... You can go two ways, really. But rifles tend to go to factory. And so you can get to factory through the stairs to quads. Uh, this is dangerous because nades just come in here constantly. If you're running through here, you're throwing nades, so it's kind of rough. But uh, really, the key for access to holding factory is to have someone in quads like almost at all times. Uh, it's kind of a big deal, to be honest. So uh, having someone just stay in quads and kill people coming into factory is, is huge. This is their only way into factory unless they uh, flank you through underpass. Or, yeah, through underpass. So you're going to have snipers peeking here and here, rifles peeking there and there, and you just want to be able to shoot them, fall back, shoot them, fall back, shoot. Uh, sniper battle usually happens here too, uh, but rifles is a big deal. Uh, you can also... You can also come this way as a rifle. Make your way into puddle. I, I kind of said this earlier, but you can go over here to broken door. If you chill in the back here, you can see them coming out of lower, and you can just shoot them, and they have a really hard time seeing you. Not impossible, but they have a hard time. Uh, off initial, the allies player is going to be in this area, in connector. So you got to be kind of be careful if you're going puddle room. But you're going to peek. Uh, you're going to peek connector, and then you can come out to uh, factory. Uh, this kind of guy is hard to deal with once they're up there. It's not too hard of a shot, but it's not an easy shot either. Uh, but you come up here and you shoot people coming out of the uh, upper or lower stack. And you kind of keep people at bay that way. Uh, and then the third way you can go is through Puddle into Car Alley. And from Car Alley, you can, you can kind of just hold it, shoot people coming in and out, shoot the person here. Uh, once you're behind this car, it's really hard to hit you, so you can kind of like duck behind it, peek out, shoot, and just hold factory till you can get a win. Uh, once you have factory, uh, you're probably going to want to have someone stay in factory and hold it. Like I said, the, the most common way is people hold in quads, um, but you can also get into triple stack. Uh, like you can come up here and just kind of hold it from this angle. This is kind of a nice spot. Pew, pew. And you can also get all the way up to the top one. There's less places to hide here, but... Okay. So I, I really believe in having one person staying in factory. I mean, you can all brush up and stuff. It's not too hard, but um, if you all die, then they're going to have factory control and it happens fast. So it's best to... Like I said, just have one person, like the sniper, should just chill up here or chill in triple, uh, triple stack. Someone should be holding factory. Okay. Uh, so, but if you're one of the people not put, uh, holding factory, you're going to want to come up here. You can throw all sorts of fun nades. Uh, and then come into lower wood. It's kind of hard because they're going to be just chilling here. They can be chilling up here. They can be chilling here, here, and they can be up here, and up here. It's kind of a hard peek, but you just do it, uh, you just split the pie. Shoot, shoot, peek, 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 and then you're in. Right here, there's always gonna be people coming from this way, and if they're not already there, you can just chill there, and as they peek, you can just shoot them pretty easy. It's a really easy shot. Um, and then people are going to be in this rubble room area a lot. Coming from this way, coming from this way. Uh, if you want to peek this way, you're going to have to first peek this corner because people are just going to sit in it constantly, if not proning behind here. And it's a tough shot because there's a rubble pile in the way. Uh, but that's it. You peek and you try to kill people and try to push to the first. Uh, you can also come up to upper wood. And this is a good spot to kind of like hold. So this is where they're going to be coming out of their spawn. You shoot them here, you shoot them here, you shoot the guy in the corner. Uh, if you can get rid of them all, then you run out and cap the flag. I tend to like to go through this area, through this little table room, 
into this connector area and kind of come around this way and kind of shoot people this way. You can also ninja in here pretty easy because people typically won't come in through this doorway. Um, they'll just go to their first. And then these people that are coming out of their spawn, they're not going to check that usually. They're usually just going to run in here and try to shoot this, this angle. So if you want a ninja, it's not a bad idea just to like chill right here. Let them run past. Let them run past. And then you can come and like let them run past. Then you can come and try to ninja. You can also just creep into this spot. People rarely check these corners for some reason. And uh, people be fighting. Maybe you need underpass. You wait for them to cap underpass. And then you cap out. Uh, this is also not a bad place to hold. Although you probably only get one or two kills before they get you. But if you're a really good rifle, you could do that. Um, you can also come up into this weird room. And this is hard to get you out of as well. Um, there is a ladder over here. And if you come up to this quad area, this is a good defensive position. Um, it's not great at ninjing because you make so much noise going up the ladder. I don't really like it. You can come over to this back alley part and shoot people coming out of their spawn. But it's pretty rough. Uh, it's a hard shot to make. It's not a hard shot to make. It's just that there's going to be three or four people coming out of their spawn. And you're just one, one lonely dude. Anyway, that's how I handle that stuff. Um, you can also go through bunker and into this room right here, and you can shoot people as they come in through this broken door. Uh, people check it pretty frequently, but it's still um, it's still something you can do. Shoot! Uh, but just shoot people as they come over here. That's roughly the rifle routes for Axis. Um, sniper route. Yeah, again, I'm not really a sniper, so this is it's kind of hard for me. But typically, the sniper comes up here, and they peek upper and lower. They get a kill here, then they're gonna move into quads and just harass people all day. You can just peek this up here and then peek that like that. Um, the sniper can fall back to here and just kind of peek out and shoot people coming in here. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, you can get in a triple stack. Uh, sniping from down here is also a good option, and sniping from cars is okay. It's not the best because they're basically going to get into factory on you. Um, but I, I think sniper should probably just chill. This is a pretty good spot, except that they will nade from upper and lower. Just nades will just end up here, so it's a pretty dangerous spot, but still not a bad spot. You shouldn't be there as a sniper though. Uh, like I said, I think snipers should probably chill in quads or go triple stack or maybe connector. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, and a sniper can hold factory by himself pretty good. Because um, you're dealing with Garands versus a sniper, especially on the Axis side. So, yeah, that's basically it. If you have a very aggressive sniper and they get pushed up into here, then they want to go upper. And then they want to just chill up here and, and make your shots. If you're a hyper aggressive sniper, and maybe you you trust your rifles to hold factory. Um, oh, I thought I threw it. That's going right into their spawn right there. Well, not in their spawn, but there's the spawn alley. <laughs> so if you're a hyper aggressive sniper, you can get up here. Um, you can make these same shots. Like this is a pretty brutal shot. Uh, that's basically it for the sniper route, as far as I know. Your mileage may vary. Now, if you are the heavy, or possibly third rifle or light, um, some people send a car this way. It's pretty brutal if you do that. But you kind of need the cars for factory. So it's usually the heavies and light go this way. Or maybe two heavies go this way and four go into, qua into a factory. That's a strategy. So you can split it three and three, or two and three. Heavy is off initial. You want to like get a nade up here, or you can throw it deeper back there, or you can throw it kind of like this way. And these all go to kind of neat places. 
So this goes to the entrances that are coming out of here uh, or here, like, you know, depending on how fast you make it, they're going to get to about here before you can peek. So it's good to get nades in this general area from between here and here uh, because they could be they could be chilling already waiting for you if they're aggressive. Most of the time people play underpass not aggressively. So, you know, you throw nades up there and then you're going to have to deal with the person that's on overpass somehow and then people are going to be underpass. This is a really hard battle because it's it's a long battle, but we send the heavies here for some reason. Um, it's mostly a holding battle. So they're going to be holding sandbags. They're going to be on top of this garage door, or they're going to be prone on top of the ledge here, or they're going to be... Oh, I just capped out. <laughs> That's dumb. Uh, let's see. Let me get back there. That was stupid of me. That was dumb. So they're gonna be like prone up here, lamp post, or behind on top of this like overpass area. Uh, they can be chilling over here. Um, it's pretty brutal all the spots that they can be. Um, so people will like prone right here, and then you can see their feet before they can see you. And that's gnarly. Um, even chilling in here. I mean, this is hard. You pick your shots and go back. Um, we used to put MGs here before they outlawed the MGs. And then people can push into this room and they'll like chill here watching or they'll get over here like prone and wait. Hide behind the table. Push up into radio. And you have two choices from radio. Uh, if you have both heavies, you know, you want to split your, split your incoming fire. But you push the radio, peek all this stuff, and go to the first. People can chill in this corner. Remember, always this corner. And then they're going to be anywhere all over these places. So uh, this quad window area, this little connector to their apartment area. They could be in this corner, in the uh, little blown out thing. What's that called? A crater? Uh, and then they're going to be coming from this way. So it's, it's, a, it's a hard peek. And then you also have an option to go to upper radio. And this is nice because you can shoot people coming here. You can shoot all the people, shoot this corner, and then cap the flag out. That's basically the heavy route. Um, heavy, the heavy route gets slowed down a lot depending on who you play against. So it, it's rare to get this far, but you definitely can. If you don't have uh, over, if you don't have underpass, the heavies can also come up into puddle room and just kind of hold puddle room and make sure people don't push into the first flag or flank factory because uh, it's it's factory is hard to get and it can be chaos. So you just kind of hold these areas, shoot people as they come in. You could be over here shooting people that come from factory into puddle. Um, and then you can pay attention to quads too. So if somebody jumps into quad window, you can mow them down this way. So heavies can do a lot for holding the, the flag. Uh, you can also hold library because this is like a good spot where people try to ninja a lot or just come up and, and go to the first. So you can chill up here in library in a bunch of different places. You can, you can see people through this little area. You can just chill right above here like that and they just come into your, your fire. You can also jump up on this ledge like this, and you can go over to this corner. You can shoot people that are coming into the connector, um, but you really wanna just kinda of hide like here, so they go through, and they're trying to cap the first flag, and then you can see them if they come from, uh, from puddle room, and then you can see them if they go library and in, and you can see them if they were ninja at church and they try to come out, and you can see them if they come out from uh, quad window behind the tank and they'll go to the first so this gives you a really good overview of, of, of kind of how to win how to how to hold that first forever uh, you can also be in this room it's, but people rarely do it it's not that exciting but there's lots of places you could be 
Heavy's got to hold. Hoddle. All right. Um, as an access sniper, uh, no, sorry, rifle. This is a great spot to hide in because it affords you the ability to peek all the the entrances from the map to the, your first flag. So you can sit in this little like archway. You peek out library. You can hide from everyone. Peek out, shoot the connector, shoot the stairs. Um, and you can just kind of hold. There's been many clutch moments with rifles hiding in this little archway. Um, people can be in a lot of weird places. This doesn't really help you much. I wouldn't hide in there. I thought I could get up here. Is it the other one I can get up in? Alright, well, whatever. I can get up here. I know there's a way to get up into this one. Oh, yeah, here it is. So, you can also be up here like this. Don't know how much good it does you, but people do it. Yeah, and you can also hide in this doorway and watch stairs and watch the first flag. So, there's lots of holding positions. Uh, there's a rifle and factory. All the kind of the same stuff applies as a sniper. Like, you can peek connector, you can hold in quads. Uh, you can you can go car. You can come up and hold the this room like this. Just pick people coming in here and here. Holding. You got to huddle. Huddle to win. Okay. So if you're if you're like modeling, if you're allies, uh, this is an important spot to be in right here. It's like I planned it. It's like I could choose. Uh, but this is called God Spawn. Only one person will spawn here. Uh, there's only one spawn right here. This is that's why it's called God Spawn. Everyone else spawns in this area back here. Okay, so God Spawn, you spawn right here, and you are the closest person. Your job is to lob a grenade into quad stairs as the axes are coming up. So you want to book it just like direct line through all this area. Uh, I'm gonna prime a nade about right here. I'm gonna hug the wall and then throw it up in the into the stairs. And it's almost a guarantee one or two kills, um, depending on if people pushed it and how fast they were going. Uh, but you get here first. You can throw that grenade, and then typically what people do is they come up to connector, and then they just harass the connector people as they're entering. Uh, uh, puddle room. They can just murder down connector. Um, they can fight the person going car. They can cut off uh, underpass from the heavies. And then they can even make a break for the first flag, uh, which is pretty crazy. So uh, if you have a really good god spawn and you have a really good player, they can do a lot of damage real quick. Uh, it's pretty devastating. That initial rush can make or break a, a whole round. Um, yeah, that's it. If you're the sniper and you get God spawn, your goal is to just peek it and hold. So you get to here, you hug and you just wait, and then they'll run right into your crosshair, and you just bop them. But a rifle or a heavy, you're throwing a nade there every time. So, like I said, I like to prime it about here, and then I go hug the wall, sprint throw, it goes right in and explodes down the stairs. It's brilliant. Um, now if you don't have God spawn, you're going to be a little bit late, but there's no worries. So you're going to come into factory, and you can choose to go up or down. If you come up here, you just want to peek first here, then here, then here. Uh, and then you can kind of hide, which is nice. So this is a good spot to be in. Just know that people can be hiding in any one of these quad windows, and also this corner, and broken door, and connector, and connector, and triple stack and car alley that's behind the tank. I mean, there's a lot of places people could be. So uh, it's just about making little quick peeks, getting a kill, getting a kill, and then you can push in. Uh, if you get to, and same thing down here too. Like if you're coming in, you're gonna wanna peek. You can peek plank first, then you're gonna peek over here. And then as you push in, you have to just kind of check everything make sure people aren't chilling 
Uh, then you push into bunker, or you can push into factory itself. Uh, I tend to push into bunker or double windows. You go up to this little ledge, you get into plank, and now I'm harassing them at their first flag. So if I think I have time, I might try to push up and ninja. If I don't think I have time, I might just wait at the top of the stairs, get a kill, get another kill, and then push their first flag. There's, when you when you peek down here, there's gonna be people running to their first from here, and then also in here. So you kind of just like peek it, get your kill, get your kill. People can be chilling behind here. People can be in here, this area. People can be here, people can be back here, up there, in here. They can just be everywhere. Uh, but you just take care of them and you go cap the flag, no big deal. Uh, if you want a ninja, it's very easy to do. Um, you know, you don't you don't want to cap that flag, obviously. You're gonna come over and you could chill here. Oops. So you could you could just chill here. Bring your pistol out so you don't they don't see you. They go through. It's kind of dangerous. But you can just wait back here and people will just run past you. You can get into church and just wait here. I wouldn't suggest getting up into church because they'll hear that. They should hear that. But if you want to harass them, you can get up here and just shoot them all as they come out. Especially if you get a heavy this far. So, yeah. That's the factory route. Uh, if you want to hold, you want to hold from bunker. Uh, this is the best place to hold. It's just hard to shoot you and you have access to all the spots people get in. You can see quad window pretty good. Like, you can shoot them here and here. You can't really shoot this angle, but over here you can. It's just an easy spot to hold. Other than that, you're probably going to be wanting to push. Um, I will get into triple stack. Especially if I have a rifle or a sniper. And I will watch here and try to kill the sniper and rifles come in quads. And then if I get them... Oops, I fucked that up. If I get them once or twice, or I get two kills or a kill or whatever, I'll come to this ledge, hop over, and now I'm in quads and I can go harass them at their first flag. There's lots of stuff you can do in, in factory. That's kind of fun. Uh, so... Basically, if you're a sniper, you know you want to you want to keep the quads clear. So your goal is you're going to come here, you're going to shoot quads, or you're going to come down here and you're going to shoot quads, and you just want to keep people from getting into quad window. Uh, if you take out a couple people in quad window, oh, I gotta sneeze. Look at him, you know, he's dead. I always do these videos at like one in the morning. Uh, if you take out people at quads, you can look at broken, you can look connector, you can peek car. Uh, but like your job is mainly to battle the people in quads in my opinion If you want to be hyper aggressive you could get into triple stack um, But man You know or you could go quads like a rifle, but I like I Just think someone should be holding factory at all times But I've seen lots of clips with snipers pushing into this area <laughs> Like, go for it. You know, if that's your style of play, do it. Please, don't, don't let me stop you. I just I just feel like people should hold quads. Because it's a dangerous to let people in the factory. You can give up flags real quick and you can get kept out, kept out on pretty quick. Because it's such a small map. Okay, well that's factory for snipers and rifles. Uh, if you're going to go... The heavy route, I don't suggest going up there off initial, but uh, you're probably going to be one cap in the flag. And you're going to push into here. You go radio, tables, primonade, and toss. Or you can, you can toss a grenade this way. But um, people are going to be roughly in that area as you come out of your hole so you can just like sort of toss nades and over the top of that wall and you're going to kill people that are coming in from puddle to factory uh i would also suggest like trying to get a kill or two up here and then you can push into triple windows 
And this is a crazy hold area. It's going to take them begging a rifle to come get you out of it because their stupid STGs aren't going to be able to do it. Um, and you can just chill up here fucking all day just murdering people. This used to piss me off so much when people would just chill in quads, but I mean, people can hold wave after wave of people uh, by shooting them as they're coming out of here in quad windows. Uh, I don't really go to these ledges except for just to surprise someone once. Uh, they won't be surprised again. So, and you're really exposed. Up there, you're safe. It's very hard to pick people out of triple windows. Uh, this is an illegal spot, but it's a cool spot if you ever wanted to, uh, you know, mess with people in pubs. But this is an Ill illegal spot. Do not get up here. Um, if you push through underpass, there's going to be people chilling upper puddle and lower puddle connector car alley. And you kind of have to contend with the, the rifle going car alley because they're going to peek you. They're going to peek as they're coming in. Um try to get factory they're really mainly concerned about factory but they will peek and, and shoot you if uh your the heavies are struggling against you guys then they'll, they'll have a rifle come over and help out a little bit uh, so just be ready for that um, if you get into puddle room you have a couple choices for capping the first flag you can go through this connected area to the first or uh and sort of a more fun option is to take control of puddle room um, and you can either chill up here, you can even, like I said earlier, you can come and help people in factory by killing the quad person. And then you can also push library, kill a person chilling here, and then peek, peek, kill, 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 and then you can go and cap the flag. You can also set up ninjas that way, if and you want to, and they, they're not paying attention to you. Um, you could come across oh, oh my gosh it's hard to get up this you could come across to this little area and it's kind of like a little ninja room just wait 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 peek no one's paying attention no one's paying attention don't look at me and then you go cap the flag that's basically it um allies job typically is to hold underpass I don't know, it's not true actually. I think allies have an easier time capping out, but you know, you definitely want to hold underpass and you can do it in so many ways. <sighs> you can do it in a ton of ways. Like uh kind of said earlier, there's lots of spots like this up here where people will just wait for you. And like wait for you to cap the flag and just murder your feet before you can see them um, they can get anywhere like right here and prone and people even fucking set up and um, yeah look so you, you have access when they they're coming in you're seeing their feet they can't really see you very good so people will sit up here and hold um, people will, uh, oh I'm stuck people obviously will sit in, in the in the in the sandbags uh, and you can also chill on top of this lamp. <laughs> I don't know why you would, but you can. Um, people sit here. People will wait for you to come up the stairs and shoot you in the back. Prone in all sorts of spots. Just wait for you to come up and be shooting you in the back. That's frustrating. There's a lot of places where people can just chill. I like to sit here and as access, and then when uh, when people come in, you're just you're shooting them from this lamppost. It's a really dumb spot, but it's fun. And I like fun. Um, there's so many places that access can sit. Uh, this is it, it can be a real slow drudgy, heavy. Oh, almost made it. Uh, but yeah, people will prone out here. People will prone behind this thing. And just let you walk past them. Um, probably the same thing here. Uh, Lots of proning capabilities everywhere in this map. Let's see, what do people like? Is, is 
it up here. Yeah, like right here. And then people, as they come out, they get murdered. There's lots of places to just be a terrible person in Underpass. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? You gotta hodl to save your life. Ninja Opportunitas, although people shoot it. It's very wallable. Place you can kind of hide in, wait for people to come and shoot him. Move up, remember the corner, check the corner, check everything, check everything, double check the corner. This is really hard. If you want to hold the first really well, you can chill in this corner. When people run to it, you can murder them down, and you can peek all this area like this. It's just very hard to get you out of it because. You have access to, like, just the sight lines are really good for you and bad for everyone else. And you can almost completely hide back here. You can get up here. Uh, I mean, it's this is brutal. But if you absolutely need to hold the first, this corner is amazing. Yep. That's basically it, man. I can't think of a... Uh, too much else you know like I said you just gotta hold these this stuff and push to cap their first flag it's uh it's a fairly straightforward map it's just like a giant square um, the routes are kind of uh, like the, the routes are in a square you know like okay a lopsided square but definitely just a square this is like the, you know, bottom right of the map. And factory is the top left, and the access first is the top right. I don't know, it's just like a giant square. Point capture. These are hard picks, though. Like, when you come out here, you're, you're often faced with, you know, three to six people. Come, like they all just got murdered so they're coming out of the spawn to protect the first so these are hard shots but you can hero play it for sure I mean it's definitely possible to take a 3k or 4k and go cap the first ninja caps are pretty common on Shamil so if you can disappear and ninja I would recommend disappearing a ninja if you haven't seen someone die for a long time start checking ninja spots because it's super 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 easy to ninja cap on this map Yep, well I can't really think of anything else to kind of talk about. It's a pretty fun map. It can be slow, but if both teams are aggressive, it's like very fast paced and fun. Um, if teams want to slow the map down, you absolutely could slow the map down, um, which could be frustrating, but it's part of the game, so you just gotta deal with it. It's an okay map. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I didn't really like it when I played it competitively in, in the Cal days. Um, but that being said, I've been playing it kind of, you know, kind of rarely, but we still play it from time to time and in 12 mans and stuff, and it's a pretty fun map. People don't play it as sweaty as they used to. Uh, one of my go to spots was to get a car, and then I would prone on this plank. And then I would just wait here and shoot the person upper, peek the person lower, shoot the person upper, peek the lower per the person lower, and I would just sit on this plank, shooting people back and forth, and <laughs> it was just really annoying about it. But uh, I kind of got a re reputation for proning with a car because I would just sit here and do what I had to do to try to hold a uh, factory. Now I'm much more aggressive. I don't really do that but definitely an option. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. This is another good spot, is this tank area. Uh, it's really hard to deal with you if you're in this tank. Uh, if you're like back here like this, it's just hard to shoot you, hard to see you. People don't really look for it that much. So, you know, you can hold on this tank pretty easy too. Uh, let's see, can you jump up here? I forget, yeah, you can. 
this is not a bad spot to be in as well. Uh, people are going to be in here. People are going to come out to factory. You can also jump into here and kind of hold it from in here. I don't know. You, you have to be creative, but really the map is... It's it's small and fast paced, so you, you cap flags and move up. I think one person should stay in kind of each sector to hold on to it in case the push-ups die. Uh, and that ensures that you're not going to get fast capped as soon as you all go down trying to cap their first flag. It can go back and forth pretty easy like that. Like, you go to their first, and then they kill you, and they go to your first, and you kill them, and you go to their first, and they kill you. Like, it's, it's a wild ride. But fun. Whoop. All right, uh, you guys have a good day, a good night, a good weekend, a good weekday, good work day. Thanks for hanging out, watching how to play Shamu. All right, uh, see you guys. Peace.